Welcome back to iframer. In this video I'm going to demonstrate setting up templates uh, for your trade customers. Okay so this is our framers portal so I'm just using our training portal. I've already started one here so basically all I've done is just created a sale for Xavier and I've changed the quote number by clicking in here to access templates to say that this is going to be where he how he calls up his templates. Okay it could be um, G99 if but I've just used excess for now. So I've created two jobs in there. The first one is a standard job. Um, you can see it's just a standard with single map. Um, I might even edit that. So standard and we'll make it single map. Okay, we'll update and close that one. And then I've um, just cloned the first one and I've created a second job. So let's edit this one and we'll make this one a standard double mat. So we'll add an extra mat in there. Oops, sorry, added two. Let's get rid of one. So we'll just make this one 5 mil. So it'll be our bottom mat, a top mat. Let's just go 16.89. And we'll make this one 50 and 60. So obviously the um, Xavier, the trade customer can come and edit these as well on from his portal so we'll just update and close that one so you can see so if we wanted to add another one so we, again we can just create another template in here we'll change this one now let's edit that let's call this one a standard double mat um, ultra view glass okay and we'll change that glass to ultra view okay so we'll update and close so now we've got three templates in there um, so the main key here is to change that quote to XS or to put a name in there so it's easy for your trade customer to call. So let me grab a trade customer. Okay, so here's Xavier's, he's Gallery 100. Um, and so all we have to do when he wants to add a sale. So you can see the templates also show up um, under his portal. All he needs to do is go down, clone a job, type in XS templates and select which job he wants. So maybe he wants to stand with the double mat. So he can clone that job. Then he can go in obviously and you know he might want to edit the size for instance. 600 by 500. He might be happy with everything else in there, the mat colors um, and everything. So he can just update and close. Okay, so you can see, you know, this has got the new quote number. If we go back into here, this should update with seven. And if we click on that, there's that sale he just created. So that's how you can set up templates. The main key here is to make sure that you change the sale number to something um, for your customer and then let them know that's where they can find their templates. So you might have um, different ones like excess uh, templates for standard jobs, or you might have excess jerseys or excess tapestries. And then you could have like several different tapestries. So, um, or you might just want to keep them all in the one. Uh, under the one template sale that's fine or you can create different template sales okay so if you have any questions please feel free to call email skype and we'll assist you where we can thank you